the Ulyanovsk branch of JSC, Aero Composite, will receive 1.78 billion rubles for the modernization of its production facilities. The investment is aimed at purchasing milling machines necessary to expand the enterprise's production capacity. The branch is participating in the Wing Development Program for the promising Russian airliner MC-21. The project was approved on May 13 by a commission chaired by Gennady Spurchagov, chairman of the government of the Ulyanovsk region, according to the regional administration's press service. As part of the Mechanical Assembly Production Re-Equipment Program, 11 units of modern equipment are planned to be commissioned. The key components will be five-axis milling centers. These machines are intended for high-precision machining of titanium and aluminum alloys used in the production of metal parts for the composite wing consoles of the MC-21. The new equipment will ensure the required quality and production rate of components. Sergei Vasin, deputy chairman of the government of the Ulyanovsk region, emphasized the importance of modernization for the implementation of the state program for the development of the air transport industry until 2030. According to him, the introduction of new technologies and the expansion of production will create 46 new jobs. In addition, an increase in tax revenues at all levels and growth in the gross regional product are expected. JSC Aerocomposite is a subsidiary of PJSC Yakovlev. The company specializes in the development and production of aircraft structure components made from polymer composite materials. Aerocomposite plays a key role in creating the wing for the MC-21 aircraft using advanced technologies and materials. The expansion of the Ulyanovsk branch's production capacities is intended to increase the output of domestic aircraft and eliminate dependence on imported components. Another company, LLC Yash's Avia, Yaroslavl Tire Plant, currently integrating with the Altai Tire Plant, has successfully completed qualification tests to meet Russian standards KT3202 for Russian radial tubeless aviation tires for the front and main landing gears of domestic MC-21 aircraft and for the main landing gear of RRJ-95 aircraft, Sukhoi Superjet 100 family reports Alta Press. Michelin and other prominent Western manufacturers had previously supplied tires for the MC-21. However, sanctions were implemented and these companies ceased official exports to Russia. Reports suggest that Russia continued to import a substantial quantity of Western-made aircraft tires in 2023 through intermediaries in countries such as China, Turkey, and the UAE with Michelin accounting for the majority of these imports, despite these efforts. The development of the first civil aviation tire by the tire plant specialists began as an initiative back in 2016 and received a special boost in 2022 when the issue of import substitution in the aviation industry became critically important for domestic industry. The developed tire of size 150 by 385R482 meets all customer requirements from PJSC Yakovlev as specified in the technical assignment. Initial tests conducted in China in 2023 helped refine the design documentation for the front and main tires for the MC-21 aircraft. This made it possible to achieve a positive result in the Chinese qualification tests in 2025 on the first attempt. Successful test results for the MC-21's front tire were obtained in October November 2024, and for the main tire in December 2024 and March 2025. The positive test outcome takes Yash Avia to the next stage in the tire certification process. After receiving a certificate of airworthiness for the developed tire sizes, 1050 by 385 R482 Mod 1A, 77 by 240 R356 Mod 1A, and 1260 by 450 R559 Mod 1A, the company will be able to begin serial production. Reaching the final stage in obtaining the airworthiness certificate for our plant's tires is another contribution to the development of domestic aircraft manufacturing, the pinnacle of which is the aircraft on the final assembly line. This strengthens Russia's position in the aircraft manufacturing sector, said Vladimir Balabanov, general director of JSCPO, ASHK. The plant has also begun the initiative-based development of a tire for the front landing gear of aircraft 
from the Sukhoi Superjet 100 family. The first prototype tire is planned for production in 2025. The successful production of Altai tires is a vivid example of how Russian enterprises can create world-class high-tech products, ensuring complete independence from imported components in a strategically important industry, the company noted. Technological sovereignty is becoming a reality thanks to successful developments in the field of aviation components. A domestic tire is not just another product, but a symbol of Russia's technological independence in a critically important industrial sector. Import substitution is reaching a new level, where Russian developments not only replace foreign analogs, but also establish their own standards of quality and reliability. This is especially important for strategically significant industries, where dependence on imported components can pose a serious threat to national security. Now, do you think Russia has not totally localized the domestic jet production? Let us know in the comments. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Also, we invite you to join our membership and support us.